Welcome to Electromagnetics playlist. I, Professor Ritez Dolakia, is going to explain you wave equation in electromagnetic waves. So here I am going to derive wave equation for EM wave in this session. So step by step I will explain you how we can derive wave equation. So let us begin this session with a derivation of wave equation. So see as per Faraday's law we can write point form of that equation as per we can say del cross E that is equals to minus dB by dt right so that explains generation of EMF because of change in magnetic flux right so that is del cross E is equals to minus dB by dt. Now see in this if we do curl operation on both of the side. So let us mention this take curl on both side. So now this equation will be del cross del cross E is equals to minus of d by dt of del cross b. Now if you see this del cross del cross e right so this is practically del of del e minus del square e so that is this and that is equals to minus d of del cross b divided by del t. Now we know Maxwell's first equation and that is based on Gauss's law for electric field. So if I mention this as per Maxwell's first equation or one can say point form of Gauss's law of electric field. We can say del dot d that is equals to rho v right and what is d d is epsilon 0 e so del dot epsilon 0 e is equals to rho v and epsilon 0 is constant so we can say del dot e is equals to rho v by epsilon 0 right now see if we consider a case for free space right here we are dealing with to derive wave equation for free space so for free space volume charge density is zero so for free space volume charge density is zero and as rho v is zero we can say del dot e that is equals to zero now as if we place del dot e is equals to zero in this equation then we can say minus del square e is equals to minus d by dt of del cross b right as del dot e is zero we can say minus of del square e so both this minus that will get plus now now we will use Maxwell's third equation and that we have derived it for time varying field for ampere circuit law right. So as if you use that equation of ampere circuit law for time varying field right. We can say del cross h that is equals to conduction current charge dens uh, conduction current density plus del d by del t right and for free space conduction current density is zero so we can say for free space So we can have this del cross h that is equals to del d by del t 
and again we can say this del t by del t that is d is epsilon 0 e so i'm just taking epsilon 0 outside del e by del t right so we can use this equation over here in this equation so we can say from above equation just place this del cross h now see del cross h that cannot be placed right so i just need to retranslate this b is what mu for free space b is mu 0 h right so i can say this is mu 0 is outside and d by dt of del cross h that i can say so now del cross h that is epsilon 0 into del e by del t that i can place it in this so now this equation will get retranslated into del square e is equals to mu 0 epsilon 0 del e del now this will be double differentiation so del square e by del t square that i can say right now see for free space we can say velocity of light that is 1 divided by square root of mu 0 epsilon 0 right so if you place this in this equation then this equation that will get changes to del square e is equals to 1 by c square into del square e by del t square right so this is even a one form of uh, wave equation let me rewrite this again so this is one form or one can say sometimes they are asking you like see c square del square e is equals to del square e by del t square so this is wave equation and further simplified wave equation that we can say like see from this equation if i say this del square by del t square and 1 by c square combinedly it is propagation constant so i can say del square e is equals to gamma square e so this is even one equation which is there with wave equation so both of these are wave equation so instead of 1 by c square into del square by del t square if i consider that as a propagation constant then del square e is equals to gamma square e so this is wave equation so let us say this is equation a and this is equation b so here equation a and b both are wave equation now see if you observe this wave equation for electromagnetic wave then in this wave equation of electromagnetic wave we have used all maxwell's equation you can see initially i have used faraday's law for time varying field right so i have derived this maxwell's fourth equation for time varying field third equation for time varying field right then we have done curl on both of the side so there was this two and to cancel out this for free space we have used gauss law for electric field where gauss law for electric field states del dot d is equals to rho v and uh, rho v is 0 for free space so del dot e is equals to 0 if you place that you will be simplifying this equation to del square is equals to mu 0 del by del t of del cross h right and then we have used ampere circuit law for time varying field so that is explaining del cross h is equals to j plus del d by del t where for free space j is 0 so this is bit simplified version del cross h is equals to epsilon 0 del e by del t and if you place this in this you will be finding this is what del square is equals to mu 0 epsilon 0 del square e by del t square so this is even a wave equation right and if you further simplify this by placing velocity of light that is 1 by square root of epsilon 0 mu 0 you will be having this equation c square del square e is equals to del e del square e by del t square or if you replace this gamma square by del square by del t square into 1 by c square then del square e is equals to gamma square e so this is what 
propagation wave equation one can say this equation b that is even referred as propagation of wave equation as this gamma is propagation constant that we have mentioned over here i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestions definitely based on your suggestions in future i'll make videos which will solve your queries so please give your suggestions i'm just waiting for your suggestions and based on that i just want to optimize this see what happens is like sometimes you are giving suggestions too late right and at that time i may be doing some other subjects so it is very difficult to switch from one subject to other subject as i need to do settings of videos and it should be in sequence so as if you give suggestions right now it will be easier for me to add those topics which is missing over here on my playlist so please give suggestions definitely i'll try my level best to place those videos which is required here thank you so much for watching this video